the 2007 Brick Awards, celebrating young people who are changing the world. Tonight, you will meet 12 extraordinary young people who are making the world better every day. I'm Kimmy Weeks. I'm age 25. When I was 10, the Liberian Civil War had started. That night was when I made the vow that I would spend the rest of my life ensuring that no child went without food or education or water. We set up country offices in Liberia and Sierra Leone the first year, um, and now we're in six uh, post-war African countries. We've got power in numbers. I mean, our generation could go down as the generation that ended world poverty. It's really good to be here. It's an honor to receive this award. I share it with the millions of children in Africa around the world suffering in extreme circumstances. We will rise again. It's so emotional to me that I want to invite you to my house for dinner. My mama cook. You down? Sure. All right, good. Excellent. I love the Brick Awards. This is my second year. I'm really happy to be here. My name is Cheryl Pereira. I'm 21 years old, and I'm the founder and president of One Child. Our mission is to fight the global sex trade in children. I wanted to get an insider's look into the child sex trade. And so I thought that the best way to do that would be to go undercover. And so this is why I went to Sri Lanka. I met with National and Child Protection Authority of Sri Lanka, and they said, you can be the decoy. So I participated in the operation as a 15-year-old child prostitute. I made a promise to them that I would do whatever I could in my power to help them to provide networks of support for victims and spread awareness about the issue. Bad things happen when good people do nothing. We dream of a life of joy, free from abuse and violence, where dignity and rights are respected. Let us all come together to make this dream a reality for the children of the world. Hi, I'm Hannah Taylor. I'm 11 years old, and I founded the Ladybug Foundation. The Ladybug Foundation is a charitable organization that raises money and awareness for homeless people across Canada. I give Ladybug jars out to businesses and schools, and they drop spare change in them to give to the homeless people. When I was around 17 years old, someone who was like really close to my circle, he was actually murdered on the way to school. That was a wake-up call for me. And so I created my own fellowship academy for young people. That's when I decided to start the Computers for Communities. I found residents of local towns who were on the low-income list and uh, who were looking for a computer. Twice a week I'd go to a resident's house and set up the machine and spend an hour, hour and a half teaching the kid uh, and the parent how to use the machine. If anyone's wondering, by the way, how they can help make a difference, you can go to do something.org, score some grant money, or uh, learn how to volunteer right in your own neighborhood. Every child deserves a decent life. So thank you so much to Break Awards for your support, for, your, for listening to the voice of those who suffer so much. When I was nine years old, I found out I had a rare form of bone cancer, and I eventually lost my leg. But I still ski competitively. And that's why it is my pleasure to present a brick to this guy. The day I was diagnosed obviously came as a complete shock. Not only did I not expect to have cancer, but I didn't know anything about the disease. There was a lot of stigma around testicular cancer and a lot of misinformation. I wanted to do something for the cause. I hope everyone watching this will get motivated to win a brick next year. Make a difference. Dashboard confessional. Take us home. I hope you guys are as inspired as we are by all the good that was done by all these kids. We should all be inspired to do something. Don't be afraid to make change.